Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were on our way to the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker, I think that's what it is, uh, to start the new DLC. Well, not new. It's a couple years old at this point. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be doing this one now. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And it helps if I can jump. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're just heading to that. That's what we were doing in the last mission. Apparently, there's a little thing here that I didn't right recall being a thing. Huh. I wonder what it is. Uh, NCR Ranger. Okay, so it must be a little NCR camp. Okay. Well, let's uh, check this out then. Camp Forlorn Hope. Forlorn Hope. That's the word. Bleh. My tongue is not cooperating with me so far. Anyway. Oop. Oh, that could have hurt. Uh, speaking of, it's going to hurt. Yep. Oh. Huh. I expected that to actually be painful. <laughs> that sounded like it was going to be painful. All right. Well, we're going to ignore this camp for the time being, mainly because there's nothing for me to do here. What, what happened with the environment here? The coloration went slightly red tinged that's a uh, it's a little odd and i didn't know they had power oh this is wish i could have been there to see caesar die what an asshole oh well you're welcome uh yeah I... heavy troopers which was salvaged and not really workable power armor oh, oh come on that's not gonna work okay all right well i'll just go around then yeah, uh, yeah. the environment had a sort of, or at least right now, it has a sort of red twinge to it. Tinge, rather. Uh, like I said, my tongue's not cooperating with me. I apologize. My, my brain is working at half power because I've been trying to wean myself off of caffeine. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Eventually it will uh, be functioning normally. But until, you know, that time, I will be not entirely brain smart, intelligent thing. Yeah, that, that's a thing. <laughs> okay, and this would be the abandoned BOS bunker here. All right. Just head into there. I'm going to take a drink real quick. Of Sprite Zero, non-caffeinated soda. Hopefully my brain will work then. Oh. Oh. That's a thing. Oh, this. Oh. His head is gone. It's not a good thing, is it? Jar of cloud residue. What the fuck is cloud residue? I guess I'll take all of this then. I guess. No choice. Uh, equipment storage, that'll be used later. <laughs> I assume. Sierra Madre? That's not spelled right, I think. Sierra Madre? Really, that's how it's spelled like. Okay. Dead money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave. A one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions who li whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that erodes health over time. Oh, boy. I've never tried this in hardcore mode, so this will be enjoyable, won't it? Okay. <laughs> Companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Oh, jeez. That's the last thing I want to hear. Uh, dead money is recommended for experienced couriers level 20 and up. I'm pretty sure we're at level... 40 almost? So I think we're good. I think so. Uh, if up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre Grand Opening awaits and has been for 200 years. Alright. Stay in the Mojave Wasteland or seek out the radio signal in the bunker. That's what we're gonna do. I hit the wrong button because I was trying to be fast. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Nothing! A bunch of rubble. Okay. What is going on here? It's a locked terminal that requires a key. Uh, probably open it with this. 
Now I think about it. Uh, massacre. Nope, that is not correct. Uh, has one and eight, so let's try carrying. Two and eight. That's, that's good. Uh, at least there's an A in there. We know that much. Uh, majority? Yeah. A and I, at least. Or at least I think so. I'd hope so. Otherwise, I'm on a wild goose chase. Uh, buddy. Yeah, boy. Allowance replenished. Fuck yeah. Okay, majority. It's not majority or capacity. Or is it? No, everything else was not, uh, confirmed. Familiar? Hey! There we are. That's it. And unlock door. Let's, uh, open this up. See what's in here. Ooh! Scientific research. Ooh! Ooh, this is cool. I had one of these when I was a kid. Just put your hand on it and the lightning would just, like, follow your fingertips and whatnot. That was awesome. Anyway, uh... Scrap metal, laser rifle. I, I imagine I won't be able to keep any of this, so I might as well just gather it up while I can. Ooh, Dean's Electronics. I'm going to pick that up. Oh, uh, man. I'm so glad I got the pimp boy for this. I'm going to be the classiest motherfucker there. That's what I'm going to be. A Dean's Electronics. Wait, this is for repair, isn't it? Isn't my repair, like, all the way? Yeah, that... That was silly of me. That was silly of me. I could have sold that. I'm a doof. That's what I am. Uh, is there a bed here? Maybe? Ah, yes, there is. Thank the gods for that. Okay, I was really high on the sleep amount that I needed to do. Uh, how's the rest of my stuff? Ooh, that was really bright in my face. H2O and food could kind of use a little bit of a thing. So, um... I guess I'll just have just a little bit of something. Uh, desert salad. That'll work. That'll cover it all. Alright, perfect. What? Vending machine. This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and lists of consumables a machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There is a slot in the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Huh. Oh! Sierra Madre chips. Huh. Oh, I can return these to get some back. Okay. Alright. Learn that now. Uh, Brotherhood Footlocker key requires that key, so we're not going to do that currently. Pre-war books, no. Uh, what do we got here? Combat knife. There we go. I'm all healed up. All my stats are good. I'm trying. Ooh. T45D power helmet. Huh. Oh! Jeez. The wrench fell within the desk. Now I can't reach it. Oh no. Oh no. I know. And I can't look at the terminal, apparently. I need a key for that. Weird, I need a key for a terminal, but whatever. That ah, works, I guess. I'll grab all this. Thank you. Okay, nothing useful there particularly. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that for the time being. Because, feeling, just a minor feeling, that um, I'm not going to get to keep all of my things with me while I go to uh, this new little area. There we go. I was trying to get that all done. My brain was trying to... Ooh. Elijah's chemistry set. There appears to be residue collecting in the chemistry set. With the proper knowledge, you may be able to collect a sample of it. And I have enough knowledge to do it, so let's collect it. Jar of cloud residue. So whatever it is, what was, what was on that guy there, uh, it has something to do with this place. So, at least we know that. Uh, that's empty. It's a drop box. Don't know what it's be that for. Okay, let's... Since this is the only other thing in this place, go towards it. Wait. There's a thing going on. Can I listen to that on the radio? Come on. There we go. Uh, Sierra Madre broadcast. Can I? Huh. 
Huh. Can't even hear it. Oh! Okay! Okay, that's not good. Okay, that looks like knockout gas. Yep. I'm... I'm out. I'm out like a light. Okay, that's not good. Where am I going? Where's my gear going? Is a better question. But that's my good shit. Kinda need it to live. Oh boy. Dead money. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend. The curses. Foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead. Buried beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. All right, then. <laughs> it's not the hard part getting to it, it's letting go. Well, we'll find out what that means in just a moment. Oh, okay. Okay, who's this dude? Are you listening? Yes. Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. I'm sorry, what? Collar? God. Another one? These fucking things? Okay. Uh, what are you talking about? It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some too. Oh boy. Do what I say, and the collar won't go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Shit. Fuck. Okay, fine. I guess I have no other choice. Uh, then maybe you better tell me why I'm here. That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Okay. Ah. Uh, heist. Mm -hmm. Too many years in the making. Okay. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Really? So I need others to pull off this heist. Who? Around the hill are three other collars like yours. Collar 8, 12, and 14. Okay. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. Okay. All your collars are linked. Uh. One of you dies. You all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Oh, shit. Great. Well, I wasn't planning on doing that anyway. They might have, but I wasn't, really. Because, whatever. Uh, so I find three other people with bomb collars, bring them back here. I had other questions for I them. am short on patience, and you are short on time. Uh, what are the vending machines in the villa? Assembly stations. Schematics are stored within Dispenses with unlock codes. Okay. They use the chips scattered around as batteries. Alloys are raw material embedded in the shell. Hmm. They resemble the vending machines in Mojave, but they are crafting devices of tremendous versatility. Once an old world convenience, now... Now they are a means of survival. 
Use the chips with power. Select from the holographic display. The device will assemble it. Okay. Uh, that's all I needed to know. I had other Ask. questions. Yeah, I better because apparently that's the only way I'm getting any information out of you. Uh, how did I get here? I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. Okay. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Mm -hmm. Until then, you won't leave alive. Thank you for reminding me, but all right. Ask. I will ask you more questions. Is there anyone alive around here? Yes. The inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. The inhabitants. Whatever has created them. Bullets, explosions, energy. It can make them inert for a time. Then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Huh. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. What is the cloud? The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may oh. smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. Fair enough. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland. And deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. Will exposure kill me? No. While it will erode your health, it will only bring you to the point of death no farther. At that point, the air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die. So be careful where you step. Oh, I see great. some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time. If healthy enough, others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Great. Fan-fucking-tastic. Is there any place that's safe to rest? Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Uh-oh. Inside building. I thought Tunnel. I was on busy. My bad. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Okay. What holograms are you talking about? I haven't seen any thus far. Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. Okay. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Okay. Security doesn't sound safe to me, especially in this place. <laughs> Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. Okay. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Okay. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Okay. So Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. And I can get rid still, of them. At least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Uh, why? Why the radios and speakers? Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Okay, what does that Speakers mean? and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators. Premature. You didn't plan for that? It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. What do you mean, make do? So I have to deal with them or I explode? Yes, but not immediately. Okay. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. Okay. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. All right. The damaged speakers are sparking. 
Hard to miss. Okay. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. So, how do I destroy the radios and speakers, then? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Well, that's good. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. Oh, you will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. Okay, fair enough. So I just find three other people with bomb collars and bring them back here. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your pip boy in case you forget. I and won't. yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Oh, that's great. Oh, Get the God. other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Can't Do this. I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. You better. So, who are these people I'm gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. Okay. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. How am I supposed to find them? Or any suggestions on, for who I should get first? Yes. yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, uh, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. Fair enough. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from your trap. I'm sorry, what? Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. Okay, so he dragged me here? Also, what the hell's FEV? A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one. Turned them into a super mutant long ago. Oh, I see. That's how the super mutants came to be. Okay. Uh, so, how am I supposed to find them? Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I've ensured it. Oi! It can latch onto the signal of the callers. And tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. Okay. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Good. Then. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. Okay. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. Okay. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Fair enough. Whoa, okay. Oh, Freddy. I guess that's one of the holograms he was talking about. Bomb Caller 12, Christine. Uh, bomb Caller 12, Dean Domino. Okay. Oh, there's an enemy over there. What, what the hell is this? What the hell is this thing? I don't remember signing up for this. I'm, I'm dying. Shit. Okay. I, I gotta end the episode here for right now. <laughs> A lot of things going on right now. Holy shit. And that radio is going to bug the fuck out of me. Uh, oh, that's not even my radio. That's that little thing there. Okay, I'm just going to stop over here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat playing games for you.